Hello. Hey, Jimmy, Dr. Bill, how are you guys? Hey. Very good, very good. I, uh, we're hearing you absolutely loud and clear. Oh, I'm not hearing you too well. Please oh, boy. Here we advice. go again. I can't, I, I don't want to shout too much because it won't, it won't look good. It'll, uh, people think I'm, um, people think I'm a deaf mute screaming. Oh, well, I'll vouch for that. <laughs> and we did the experiment. How is everyone? Yeah, we did the experiment, me and uh, and uh, and Reverend Bill over here, and uh, it's 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 pretty much on your end with the cell phone. Yeah, why is it only when I call you guys though? Uh, it's, it's Verizon. It's everything it's, else is just fine. It's we Verizon. I hear you. I hear you loud and clear. Yeah, that's odd. This is odd. Yeah. Anyway, where is your location now, uh, William? Are you? Same. I haven't gone away in a week. It's just over a month now. It's just nice to oh, really? For a while. Oh, I thought maybe you you be in Atlanta this week. You're supposed to no, be. No, no, I was going to, but no, I decided to. Yeah, well, 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 you're a busy, you're a busy man. Don't stay in New Jersey too long. Well, not as bad as people think. I hope it's okay. Uh, yeah, but I mean, you know, we're, uh, you know, we like to we like to keep the people of the world uh, mm. posted as to. Uh, our thriving organization and all the all the wonderful things that we do and uh, you know I don't want people to think we're we're just yeah. living in this uh... do me a favor Jim try to speak up I'm sorry but a little bit so I can hear you a little more oh boy uh, this has got to be a problem uh, this is going to be a problem uh, alright uh, now, now I can hear you the fan, yeah, the fa yeah, but our, the fans that were watching the show are going to think I'm out of my mind. <laughs> well, just tell them you're not, correct. I'll tell them you are. How's that? I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't shout because it doesn't look right. But, uh, uh, uh all right. What do you, uh, I know you have something to say about the newsletter. Please let the best way to join your organization is to go to www.newslettercensored.com and get your free annual subscription with your gift to support this work. We're living in end times, everyone. So you need newsletter censored. New yes. One, new one is out. And there's a new one out. Hot off the pancake griddle. A brand new uh, issue of newsletter censored is out. And this is the very best way to join our organization. So go there. Newsletter censored. You, know, you are growing steadily, too, which is very nice. Yeah, we're we're growing, we're growing. Uh, but I know you're. I know you uh, often do uh, seminars and uh, you go to meetings and you give speeches all over the country. Well, it's good to talk to people. I never, as I think you've known me thirty plus years, or I never force my opinion or anything. I ask questions to invoke thoughts, what people feel. Yes. You know, to bring things out in them. Well, well, no, I, I will not force anything on people. You're crazy. You don't think this way. No, I don't believe in that. Yeah. No, well, I like to ask questions. See how the people feel. Why do you feel this way? Well, I know. I know. What we're discussing, going to discuss today, real quick, goes back to what we've been dis discussing for weeks, uh, and apparently it's hit the nerve in a number of people. They some have gotten on me, but how can you ask such a thing? Blah blah blah. Well, I'm asking a question. Is that illegal? What I want to know is, where does God come from? We've been discussing that. You know, there, and I get so many people, he's always been there. Read John 1, That's verse a 1. You know, and their belief systems, and if you have a strong belief, well then again, now we're going to go faith and belief, that's nothing but hope. That's not fact. You know, what is fact? Uh, it's just, don't you ever wonder what the real truth is? Does anybody ever wonder? I'm sure people do. I'm sure a lot of people don't because it scares them. Oh, yeah, don't definitely. Want to know. A lot of people, probably, possibly a majority, would rather play ostrich, bury their head in the sand, keep it safe, pretend nothing is going on. If people. The masses primarily, I think, are afraid to question things. And when you stop questioning, you stop learning. You stop discovering. Did you ever wonder who, who are, who are we? What are we, Jim? 
We're Homo sapiens. Where do, where do we as a species really truly? Where Humans. Do we come from? Well, where do we come from? Yeah, where, well, the Bible answers a lot. I don't know where we come from. Nobody can tell me what well, uh, well, it actually, the, the the Bible does answer a lot of these questions. Uh, Reverend Bill said. I mean, you could say the same thing about an acorn. How yeah, on earth can a Bible, tiny? The Bible says that's one book. You look at the TV shows yeah, and show speculation. Yeah, I was the host of the show. In the Bible, what has been written, and the sounds, the paintings, the drawings on walls, or whatever, it sure it seems to be pointing more and more towards towards alien visitation. Now, my whole feeling. Uh, Ancient aliens. Uh, I Von think we were from this planet. I think we've been put here. I don't know if we're being observed for what or an experiment or what. But look how susceptible our species, the human race, is. So many hundreds, if not thousands, of illnesses, diseases, bacteria, what have you. We have not acclimated yet. Uh, I just feel we've been put here. That's my belief. I might be damn wrong. I don't know it for a fact. But it seems to look more and more we've been visited. Uh, but it still goes back to the God thing. And how, you know, remember weeks back I asked both of you gentlemen, I said, uh, did God create man? Or did man create God? And how can something have been there forever? That's impossible. John 1 verse 1. It cannot be. Everything. John as you begin John 1 yeah, verse 1 well, well Reverend Re 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 oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Reverend Bill says John 1 verse 1 John 1 verse 1 but the point is that that uh, you know the Bible says that God and the spirit that became Jesus always existed but but religion is faith based no one has been able to prove that their God exists that's your that's what are you said to me? Faith based on fact based. Uh, you know, you're quoting a Bible. It's, you know, it's written by, I guess, I will, I will say men. Who knows? Maybe they weren't back then. Who knows? But influenced and told and what to write to say what. We don't know. We don't know. But how to say it's always been there? That's impossible. Yeah. Not happen. Everything must have a beginning. Well, there's not been only materials. How can something always? It's only material it things. Can't, it can't be done. Uh, Billy, only material things have a beginning. You, the, uh, uh, with with God and and. No, that's um, not true. No, 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 not only material. Yeah, no, that's, that's a spiritual true. world. Everything's got a beginning. Everything has a beginning. You know, really. Everything, how can anything not, not have a beginning? How can something always? have been there. Come on. That's the Think difference between it. spirit Impossible. and human. That's the difference always between... Always have been there, meaning it never started in the first place. It's always been there. That cannot be. <sighs> That's the difference between spirit... That's the difference between spirit and human. Well, even beyond human. Let me ask you guys something. What do you, what do you believe in? And why? It's not a matter of belief. You know? I don't know, and now I'm confused. And you know, don't get the excuse of it's the way you were brought up. That's your own fault. I was well brought belief up. Belief is an place. ideology. Really? Well, belief is an ideology. Know? Yeah, but belief is an ideology, but uh, but fact, proven fact is proven fact, and uh, either well, it's a proven fact. We I, haven't. We don't I don't know. I, whoever proves whoever proves with fact has proven the fact, and if you haven't well, done it, been it, able to prove it in all these centuries and thousands of years or whatever, and the, uh, you know, so, the, again, to say that something has always been there, that's just impossible. You know, yes. somebody can prove that, uh, or knows, if somebody can tell me what the fact is now, you're a better person than I am. Fact is, there's uh, a spirit world, and there's a, a you know. How does something? How does something exist uh, with no beginning? Well, Bill, Bill, uh, Reverend Bill says there were. There's a. The fact is, there's a spirit world and a material world. But that, that has to have a beginning from somewhere too. It didn't just always be there. It cannot always have been there. There is such a thing as eternity. Everything's and it's got to have a there. beginning. Yeah. Well, the science. Uh, I know the show. You're. Uh, I watch it myself. Ancient Aliens with the uh, 
quantum physicists and um, all from around the world, authors, NASCAR, you know, that. Uh, professors at some of the most prestigious universities around the world. And uh, the bottom line, professors or not, how can something have yeah. always been there? Well, look, look at the mystery of, look at the mystery of the fact that in different civilizations all over the world, they did a comparison of pyramids and images on the pyramid, and there was oh. an, un, well, let me finish, there's an uncanny similarity of, well, of yeah. oh, Billy, let me finish, there's an uncanny similarity of the images on the pyramid and the pyramids themselves in civilizations that did not know the others existed. That's a, that's an amazing... We discussed that weeks ago, and why with today's technology, they just tried on one of their episodes to duplicate it with modern equipment, and they still can't. Why yeah. was this done centuries and centuries, Lift, thousands of years Lifting ago? blocks that weigh tons and uh, with why precision. Why yeah. duplicate it? How was it done back then, but we can't duplicate it? You can't How even... They can't even get a razor blade in between the two uh, that's massive right. blocks. That's right. How did they do that? Modern carving is... In, in Bolivia. Uh, Today's laser scan, they can duplicate that that well. I think it's the, old, the oldest man-made structure. Does really know the absolute, actual, and factual truth? No. We're... The species still on speculation, wonder, and we don't know. As we said last week about knowing only 10% of the species on the planet. Uh, yeah. we, what it really comes down to is we all really know, know very little. Ones. We don't know. That's a proven fact. <laughs> what I do know is when, we, when I have Stink asked bugs. these questions, they get very nervous. Yeah, now, now, now Bill... Uh, we created God, they get very, very nervous. Oh yeah, well when you, uh, when you tell people things that they don't want to hear, they get extremely uneasy. Well, but if your faith is so strong, why are you afraid to hear that? Apparently your faith isn't that strong. But then again, your faith is in fact. Well, there's there's also people that are that are counterfeit Christians that profess to be so, and, and, and their belief doesn't have anything to do with the God of the Bible. You know, it's... Also, you have plenty of people that just plain hypocrites, too. Hypocrites. You, you, you hit the nail on the head. Hypocrites, and, and really, they think they believe when they truly, really don't. They God knows how many, I don't know which one, for lack of a better word, bad things during the week. Listen. Uh, crimes, whatever, this and that, before they're right there on church and giving on Sunday. Yeah, but... we are going to buy you a uh, ticket to heaven if they're, you know, whatever. You know? No such thing as heaven. Ticket to ride? It's, just no. hard to, it's, it's hard when you sit and watch people. This goes off a little bit of a subject. We well, watch uh, people too. When I go to where I go for coffee and other places, I like to sit back and observe their interaction mm. or non-interaction with others or each other. And it's amazing what you see. Very, very odd, strange behavior. Oh, without a doubt, yes. I mean, when I sit there and I watch people sitting there eating together at a table, nobody utters a sound. They're stuffing their faces. They don't talk at all. I'm like, this is insane. Eating. Yeah. Not a word. Nobody oh, communicates. No, I think I said this on your show about three weeks or more ago. Need a the bottle of whiskey. Just, the Americans don't have any heat in this country. I think it's just stuffing your gut. And it's not about stuffing your gut. Well, it, the, 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 it's, pe an, it's an event. People. Sit down. Pe pe talk, people in. Together. <laughs> yeah, about fucking ghouls, we say you to know? tell you. <laughs> People in our part of the country are, uh, this is a very antisocial area. You know, you could, like me and you, we, we say very funny things, but there are people that won't even crack a smile. People do not do not converse with each other. Oh, you know, anybody makes eye contact with you, oh, they're out to rape me. Oh, please, people. Don't yeah. Have to, you know, very paranoid. Very great, okay? I, I know somebody who is afraid that will not, if she goes to a new car dealer, she will not get in the car and test drive it with the car salesman because he's a man. Mm -hmm. she, she is afraid to get in the car with a man that she doesn't know. So I said, for God's sakes, he's a car salesman. He, he's there to, 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 first of all, to make sure you don't drive off with the car. Mm -hmm. Well, he'd rather make a sale. That's he needs. Yeah, he's not going to rape. Job, go to prison for, for an assault on a female. I mean, 
she, she, she's acting she's acting like like the man's gonna rape her for God's sakes I mean well, if you're living in fear is she living no you're not living if you're living she's in fear existing. no you're not at all you're, not, if you're, you're going through life like that you're not living you're existing. there are people who have a uh, real de very deep psychiatric uh, me or mental emotional issues that but no, they're all coming by things on the news Jimmy they see things they hear things blah blah they're blah, blah. everybody's out to yeah, that's what I, I want to say thank you they're coming they're coming out of the woodwork, Billy, and in the end times, all these wackos and misfits and, and kooks are coming out of the woodwork, it seems, at this these times. Well, in a way, it's almost like man is destroying himself or herself. I mean, when I say mankind, I mean male and female. That's the do term, you, mankind. Do you know there are conservative politicians in Washington who profess to be devout Christians and close to God, but they don't believe in helping the poor at all. Well, isn't that hypocritical as well? Yeah, of course it is. Well, then, well, then, then there you go. There's your great religions. You believe, yeah. you have faith in this and that, but when it comes to crunch time and the almighty dollar, screw you. Yeah, they have theirs. Yeah. They have theirs, and they have theirs, and you don't have yours, and they don't care about you. That's basically it. Well, what happened just a few weeks ago, that little tiny young girl, I think she was about four or five years old, I think four, she needed a, a, a liver or a kidney, and they had to, I forget which well, governor or whatever, they had to bank for it. And I think it was Harry Reid or somebody, they were going to let her die. Let me tell you something. If I was running that laboratory, that stem cell research laboratory that grows organs, I would grow her a liver for free. I, I would. Strongly, I strongly I agree with you. I strongly agree. She's a, a child. Children. I would grow their organ that they need for nothing. All well, children. You're so matter right, Jimmy, but you're so matter wrong. Why just children? Why not? Well, they, well, they, well, they got to make people, some money. Younger people, anybody that needs something, uh, so we can grow. We can then it wouldn't be. I guess it would be government run. Yeah, but if you right now we wouldn't be working. We can't grow. But look at all the. Uh, you only got a year to go. Veterans. Yeah, you got one foot. You have one foot on the banana peel. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, these are things people. Yeah. Need. I mean, if you're old, you have one foot on the banana peels, more or less. So it would, that would be a waste of an organ, right? Yeah. So where do we have the cutoff point? So you're useless. I don't know. That's not right. See, so you're old. You're yeah, old, that's so, true. So now, 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 Bill, you and I were talking about a subject that we noticed uh, over the week. We were talking about. There seems to be a correlation between products made today that have built-in obsolescence with bad customer service. Those two facts seem to be very common with American companies. Uh, for the most part, you have some that are very good, but uh, I don't know of any built-in obsolescence. Is American true. company things all seem to fail around the same number of years. You know, like they told me, cell phones are expected to last approximately. Listen. Uh, they things in to, to, to go down, to break. Light bulbs, uh, vacuum cleaners, fans. Uh, you know how many fans my sister bought that just suddenly burnt out? Yep. And almost at the exact time. And light bulbs. And it's funny, amazing too. Light and bulbs. Always around the warranty time too. The warranty time ends. Uh, yeah, you right. Know, they can build Even compact well, fluorescents don't the last as long as they used to. Go. Yeah, even yeah. Comp even compact fluorescent light bulbs used to last several years. They don't even last that long anymore. Well, a lot of and the bug lights do not get the bugs away. Okay. Incredible. Oh, some some things ticked you off this week. I know you wanted a you wanted a vent about some things that really ticked you off this week. Um, check check your notes. I did, but I didn't write a lot of all the time. I thought you, you told me he was. Right away. Stink points. We had a tick number of discussions, you and I. And, uh, ticks tick me know, off. Weird. Especially What's deer ticks. And more and more people no said, ticks. you're right. I said, it's every day. People are just getting hammered and hammered. They had a part of the segment on CNN with a number of psychologists. Which was? Which way is the beach? Is it that way? It's hammering a society. It's got to stop. 
how much I don't know, Arnold. Which way do we go? Which way do we go? It's really just a big time. I know, but Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. You get tired. And you hear a lot of people saying, I just don't care anymore. Well, you gotta, you, the, you gotta keep hope alive, Billy. Keep hope alive. How? Your hope keeps getting pounded down. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you a pep. I'm giving you a pep talks. I'll be the Newt Rotney. You gotta hit him low. Go, 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 go. Hit him low. Hit him low. You know it's hard to keep <laughs> alive for people when they all go through so much. Yeah, but, but you know yeah, what? Tomorrow I've got to leave because my house is being foreclosed. Rocky. I know, well, that's pretty sad. That's pretty sad. So how can they keep hope alive? Hey, Rocky, when you see the two of them over there, hit that guy over there. That's the real one. Hit the one, the, middle, hit the one in the middle, Paul. Hit the one in the middle, Rocky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard. <laughs> People get fed up. I mean, you get a whole platitude of saying you want, but it's awful hard when you've got all these other influences trying to just, that hand or that dark cloud well, just keeps trying to push you down harder and harder. Look at Job. The story of Job in the Bible. They uh, they took uh, they what is it? God took deliberately took everything away from him to allow the devil to allowed the devil to take everything away from Job to test his loyalty to, to test his faith. Yeah, but you, you know, know that's another thing. What you just said, take away. I'm so sick of hearing everywhere you turn, take, take, take. It's the devil's way. Right. Well, that's that that's away, well. They have away, to stop. Away. They have to stop Everybody electing Republicans. Have a little bit, not take it away from them. If you do this, we're going to take this. You know, and be gotta be take, a football hero. Take away. Really good part of it. You get very, very. Remember good when tired. Felix Unger was singing that song? You get tired of seeing people suffering the way they are. Suffering. Because they, we have to get people in office that are progressive, that have compassion for the poor. We got to stop. Well, they got to stop happens. voting in Republicans. Well, will that ever happen? Republican, Democrat, Independent, who knows? What the, so lesser know the two evils. Happened. I don't know. I mean, Unf you I don't, in office, it seems like listen. you're influenced. Jerry you're Garcia. They, they change your mind Je Jerry Garcia of the Grateful Dead once said, you know, about voting for the lesser of the two evils is still voting for evil. And I agree with that, him. That, thank you. I agree you're with him, but what, what do we have? <laughs> what are you voting for? Our donor system evil. changes. So whether you vote for what this or that, whether you vote for the lesser of two evils, so what's the, what, uh, excuse me. it never changes. But we need a new system, but until that happens, we have we only have what we have. Yeah, and it's really working great for all of us, isn't it? No. No, it's not it's working. It's suffering th so, so much. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's right, Bill. Sad. It, it's very sad. I mean, the amount of money that the uh, a lot of po many politicians say that oh the poor are, are getting handouts they're getting they're getting uh, something for nothing Jimmy, Jimmy and Dr. Bob sorry to interrupt you you say all oh, this and the poor we could go on and on and we will in the continuing weeks yes and again you have selective things that interest society the rich little white girl who's been abducted nobody measures a little black girl abducted in Detroit at the same time you're right about that. Or death. I mean, really, come or, on. Or murder. Or, 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 things in or, or, or something we don't care about. Why or, is that? or homicides, like black on black crime, and you know, they. Oh, uh, a black guy was killed, but a wealthy, rich CEO, white man was killed. Then all that oh, I'm not different. too crazy about CEOs, my friend. But, but that's what makes the news. He's <laughs> number one, the dollar. I have no sympathy for CEOs. Two, white. That makes the news. A black uh, truck dealer or somebody or whatever gets killed, who cares? That's how people think. It's a rabble Nobody rouser. Nobody thinks much anymore about a life is a life is a life or whatever. Granted, some people deserve, they are true scum. They deserve what they're getting. Uh, but you ever notice that, you ever notice that the dis distribution of wealth in this system of ours is always, it's always the scumbags that are living high on the hog. It's almost like if you're a nice guy, you're not going to make it. No, it's because everything. Make good money and live comfortably, have mansions and Ferraris or whatever. You're a jerk. Yeah, everything is dirty politics today. You everything is. People, you look like you know money. you look like Wiley Cyrus nice doing people. something. <laughs> but you were doing that. Hey, gentlemen, our time is up for today. Yes.
Yes, it is, sir. I don't know raving too much, but you get a little tired of it when you read the papers and talk to right. others and see the suffering and stuff. But listen. This will be continued. Yes, listen. Next time, cut out some really heavy-duty newspaper articles and, and, and read them or something. Something that ticks you off. Well, I, I will, but it's for me. It's what we've been talking about, too, with politics the whole bit. And yeah. Well, it gives, uh, 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 you know, it, it gives, uh, in other words, you, you present the story and, and the details, and then you give your rebuttal or your opinion after you read the article. It's oh, more... I can, I can do that. No problem, guys. Yeah, yeah. Listen, have a good rest of your show, fellas. Yes, thank you. I'll talk to you gentlemen later, Yes. Okay? All right, take care, Billy. Okay, guys, you as well. Thank bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <clears throat> Now, didn't, didn't he do what he said he wasn't going to do, is force his yes. opinions on, on yes, 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 yes. Um, now, the first thing I noticed. Uh, um, I need, I got a headache. I need, I need an, uh, an, an leave. Two leaves for all day, six Tylenol. Take your choice. No, I think an leave is like the Allegra. It goes all day, one pill. Two pills. You mean for a 24 hour period? 24 hour protection. But the, but the Allegra is Tylenol, one. you'll take six in that same No, period. no, I, I don't want, Tylenol has, I believe, more negative side effects. That's correct. Than, than uh, ibuprofen or... But Aleve is also an NSAID and shall rip up your tummy and your intestines. You mean if you go beyond... Whatever. Or even if you take one? No, not one. One of anything, unless it's really a high, high potency poison, ain't going to kill you. No, I. As I, the Bible says. I take one a leave, which is nuproxen. Nothing from outside the body can corrupt the man. Only that which is inside. Really? Except That's the argument against pornography. Unless it's cyanide. Pornography can't corrupt the man. You're right. Unless the man is already corrupt. What corrupted uh, Satan, uh, 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 Lucifer? Nothing from the outside. Only his inside ambition to be numero uno. Right. Over God the Father. Oh, by the way, getting back to yeah, guys. Yeah, I, I, I gotta, I gotta close, I gotta close this video because I have to take something off the. I have to disengage something. But say what you're gonna say. In answer to Billy's these questions about the, the you know, uh, the, the spirit world not having a beginning, I gotta have a beginning, and this and everything. You go to John one verse one through fourteen in the Bible, and you understand it tells you what was here before the creation of the universe. Right. right, right. And the angels. There was nothing but the two gods. So the Word and the yeah. Father. See he's he Now if that's hard for you to understand, it's because you're dealing with materialism. You're a material being. He's not thinking they aren't. He's not thinking in a spiritual sense. Infinity infinity in a spiritual sense it's exactly. different than Time life. Time never exists. In it's different than the life. In, world. It's different than life in the material world. In the spiritual and, and sense. with the material girl, Madonna. No, oh, I couldn't stand that song. That, that, there's, there's, there's certainly way too many gold diggers in America today. Money rovers. Well, the point is, I, I just want to say that there are answers to some of Billy's questions that he. He brings about. There are answers to them. You have to seek them out. And you certainly cannot understand a spirit world from the material world perspective. No, you can't just you can't just speak your mind and rant without doing a little research and and uh, that's why I told them present the subject in its detail and like he tells me he's going to do. <laughs> Present the subject like read, we did with the stink bugs. Read the material and then give your opinion on it. You know, unless you just want to make it a rant. But you certainly cannot give the opinion coming from, let's say, traditional Christian views, and then contrast that with the Bible. 
there's, a, there's no, you know, it's not the same. <clears throat> there are many people who profess to be Christian and they don't know what they're talking exactly. about. Exactly. E easy example, re conservative Republicans profess to be real Christians and they're far from it. Mm -hmm. Actually, they're... And they're, they, will, they will tell you that they get their information, their tenets, and it's it from the Bible. And right. then when you go and look, it's not there. It's not there. Such as their concept of traditional heaven and hell. Exactly. They don't exist in the Bible. No. So there are answers to some of his questions, but you have to seek them out, my friend. That's you can't just go blathering and saying, well, everything has to have a beginning. Every well, yeah, in the material world, biogenesis, yeah, everything needs to have a beginning. But maybe not in the spirit world. No, infinity and, and something always existing. Or as Buzz would say, infinity and beyond. Yeah, yeah that's true, that's true. Okay, let me... <coughs> yes, shut the thing Yeah, let me, let me close this and we'll start. We'll take a tiny break and we'll start again.